O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 6 my child, if you have made a pledge for your neighbour and have become a guarantor for a stranger, if you have been ensnared by the words you have uttered and have been caught by the words you have spoken, then, my child, do this in order to deliver yourself because you have fallen into your neighbour's power. Go, humble yourself and appeal firmly to your neighbour. Permit no sleep to your eyes nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from a snare, like a bird from the trap of the fowler. 
Look at the ant, you sluggard, observe its ways and be wise. It has no commander, overseer or ruler, yet it prepares its food in the summer and gathers at the harvest what it will eat. How long then, you sluggard, will you lie there? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to relax, and your poverty will come like a robber, and your needs like an armed man. A worthless and wicked person walks around saying perverse things. He winks with his eyes, signals with his feet, and points with his fingers. He plots evil with perverse thoughts in his heart. He spreads contention at all times. Therefore, his disaster will come suddenly. In an instant he will be broken, and there will be no remedy. There are six things that the Lord hates, even seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift to run to evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who spreads discord amongst family members. My child, guard the commandments of your father, and do not forsake the instructions of your mother. Bind them on your heart continually, fasten them around your neck. But when you walk about, they will guide you. When you lie down, they will watch over you. When you wake up, they will talk to you. For the commandments are like a lamp, instruction is like a light, and the rebukes of discipline are like the road leading to life. By keeping you from the evil woman, from the smooth tongue of the loose woman. Do not lust in your heart for her beauty, and do not let her captivate you with her alluring eyes. For on account of a prostitute, one is brought down to a loaf of bread. But the wife of another man preys on your precious life. Can a man hold fire against his chest without burning his clothes? Can a man walk on hot coals without scorching his feet? So is the one who has sex with his neighbour's wife. No one who touches her will escape punishment. People do not despise a thief when he steals to fulfil his need when he is hungry. Yet if he is caught, he must repay seven times over. He might even have to give all the wealth of his house. But a man who commits adultery with a woman lacks wisdom. Whoever does it destroys his own life. He will be beaten and despised, and his reproach will not be wiped away. For jealousy kindles a husband's rage, and he will not show mercy when he takes revenge. He will not consider any compensation. He will not be willing, even if you multiply the compensation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9. As Jesus was saying these things, a ruler came, bowed low before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus and his disciples got up and followed him. But a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for twelve years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. For she kept saying to herself, If only I touch his cloak, I will be healed. But when Jesus turned and saw her, he said, Have courage, daughter, your faith has made you well. And the woman was healed from that hour. When Jesus entered the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the disorderly crowd, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but asleep. And they began making fun of him. When the crowd had been put outside, he went in and gently took her by the hand, and the girl got up. The news of this spread throughout that region. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, shouting, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he went into the house, the blind men came to him. Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They replied, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, then let it be done for you according to your faith. Their eyes were opened, but Jesus sternly warned them, See that no one knows about this. Even so, they went out and spread the news about him throughout that entire region. As they were going away, a man who could not talk and was demon-possessed was brought to him. After the demon was cast out, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Never has everything anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of demons he casts out demons. Then Jesus went throughout all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every kind of disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were bewildered and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments and also that, by you, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight 
and for evermore. Amen.